Hey, little guy. Are you okay? Hey. I think he must have gotten locked in here. Aww. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're so cute. Hey. What do I do with you? Look what I found in the garage. Oh my word, a bird? Whoa. Oh dear, it's like a goldfinch. You think it needs some water? Okay, come on. Get on there. Oh. So are you thirsty? I gotta look out for the cat. Come on. Drink up. No? What do birds eat? What do I do with you? Let's back up a bit. Eight years and 40 pounds ago, I started building a treehouse. And it's been a really great adventure between me and my dad putting the whole thing together. Mistakes were made, Cider was drunk, and we did finish the exterior. I made the whole thing into a video, but right now you're watching the sequel, where we're going to finish the interior. And don't worry, we'll get back to the tiny bird. It's a golden crowned kinglet, by the way. Old floor. New floor. We're cleaning it out, cleaning all the crap out. It's really unpleasant in here and mossy. Little teeny tiny birds hanging out up there with their little teeny tiny bird poops. I'm gonna put hardware cloth in all of these gaps. And also down here around the tree, I'll do that underneath. See, so you know, it'll go like that, except nicer and also stapled in. Check it out, this ladder, unfortunately, cracked right here. See that? Oh, baby. This is my floor. Clean them up. Those are gonna be just gorgeous. So we've got some, I guess, dry rot coming in here. Well, I can fill in the space with uh, this filler stuff, which is nice. Uh, Thompson's water seal on the bottom, Sickens on the top. There's a whole little family of quail. They say it's clear, but it looks pretty white to me. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that is clear. I'm also going to do the floor, uh, the plywood floor. Look at that. All right. Use the whole can. Sickens, Sickens, Sickens. Seconds. The vacation goes away. Away. Oh, the vacation goes away. Away. Oh, the vacay goes away. Will the car start? Oh nope. It is June 2022, and the treehouse is unchanged. I'm always afraid of finding like a bunch of raccoon poop or a bunch of bird poop in here. When I go in, ooh yeah. Yeah, the floor is kind of squishy. Yeah, the raccoon can't get in anymore because I plugged the gaps. And now what I need to do is find some marbles and just drop them. And wherever they roll to, I'm gonna drill a hole so the water can drain in case water ever gets in here. But it's pretty dry. I don't think I can see, uh, there's a little bit of daylight through the shroud, but it's pretty good. This is unfortunately only half inch thick plywood. I think I've said this before. I should have gone with three quarter inch or even an inch thick, and that's just not safe enough. So the solution, it's real simple actually. What are these, inch thick? Oh yeah, baby. These are not gonna fail. They go across the joists, which are like this. That's right. And then underneath, right on the edge, uh, what you don't want is for everything to be like shearing right here where the plywood is. So underneath that, I already cut out these things. Oh, front right. That'll go directly underneath there and then these are supporting these 
through the plywood between them, which is this. I hope that all makes sense. And uh, that'll be a really strong floor. So now I just need to figure out, do I, ah, there's fluffies in here. Do I actually, oh my gosh, the kids were in here with the fluffies. I gotta bring some tissues in here. I got all the windows open, but it's very dusty. <laughs> okay. Boy, this brings me back. When I was uh, 15 years old, I had a lawn mowing business and uh, I would have to fix my own mowers. My dad's mower has broken. He has not been filtering his fuel, so we think the carburetor's clogged. Here it is. All right, let's see if it works. You're priming it? Yep. Is that the same as last time? Yes. Uh, what are you doing over there? I'm just, I'm just uh, trying to pull a little more. You gotta do the choke. What? Way to go, man! Oopsie, put that nail in too high. Also, here's a concern. Every, uh, almost every one of these stupid nails, the wood is split. See that? My dad always says, oh, that's fine. You just, you don't need to pre-drill every single one of your holes. Just nail it in. And I'm, yeah, I just, I hate it so much. I'm so sick of splitting wood. I might end up just replacing it with some boring aluminum thing, because if it keeps breaking down like this, it's just not safe. At the store, there were some where you could bolt, you could have like a washer and a bolt on the other side instead of having it like this. And honestly, I kind of wish I'd bought one of those. Never tried this before. Can it work? Ah! <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> that's just too easy. I'm gonna take these boards outside. I'm gonna paint up the walls with all that white. It's not paint, it's just stain. So I guess it's supposed to look a little bit transparent and breathe a little. It's already looking more cheerful in here. English side ruined. Must use French instructions. I'll have some area for storage up there. It's way too squishy. Uh, I talked to my mother about how I should uh, put the floor boards in. And I said, should I glue them or should I nail them? She said, nail them to the joists. And every board needs to be ending on a joist, which is actually not something that I had planned, but it's a really good idea. She says, and that way, uh, even if you end up having to take out the plywood completely from below, you will still have a floor. So that's what I'm gonna do. That means I'm gonna have to cut these beautiful boards. I got the hammock in Mexico like four years ago uh, on, an, on a work trip and the guy said, oh, you're getting a really good deal. You should tip me and I did tip him. And like later the next day, I saw the same hammock in the store for like 10 bucks less. So you try to buy anything in Mexico, make sure you speak Spanish. No hablo espanol. Well, take Whoa, a look. Man. It's so much brighter in here, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. This I, is yeah, great. Yeah. But, look at that. Oh, how did that beer get in? Oh, no. We'll have to drink it now. Oh, yes. See, so you're making it's, yourself comfortable. It's beer o'clock. That's it. That's. Let's look in there. Oh, it's so much better. I keep finding more fluffies. I found a fluffy all the way down here. Ah! All this stuff. Yeah, too. just put it all in there. I can't say it's the best hammock. I did it. <laughs> you did. Yeah, just hold it, damn it. I, I'm uh, doing it landscape. No, no, no come, come, you... zoom, go to where you were. Oh, you see okay. the shot. Yeah, yeah, we're just... Oh, so you're this showing is, this. Yeah. So I'm just making a marking where this is gonna go in. This is the fold to hold up the ladder. It's doable. Well, well hold on a minute. What? My idea was that we would not cut it at all, but do a test. Hey! Well, yeah, it's a little loosey-goosey. We needed a size between these two, but... At the edges. Yeah, it's okay. And there they are. That, that looks really beautiful, actually. Okay. That's good. We gotta take it down. It's only clamped in. Great, now we have a nail board. Plan, which was to, I hope you can see this, 
was to have it flush and put a piece of wood here oh, to hold it in and prevent critters from living inside. What I could do is drill four holes in the metal, not that I know how to do that, and stick a rod through it. Boop. Have it hold on that way. Ugh, this is a heavy boy. Oh. Get up there. See how easy it is. Oh, that's so much better. This is the banister for a railing. It's not holding the ladder up. It's just stabilizing it. The other problem that I have that I'm not sure how to solve is that the ladder can still do this. Uh, that's a problem when you're stepping onto it from up there. All right, next step, and this is pretty easy, but very important. These boards go underneath the floor. Oh no. Oh, I didn't measure. Oh, it looks so stupid. It worked for the size of what I had before. Unbelievable. See right over there, they don't poke out. I can't believe I forgot to measure that. That looks so stupid. Gonna have to fix that. Ah! Oh. Not galvanized. I decided to go with uh, three inch galvanized. I deliberately am not nailing them in all the way so they won't poke out the other side. And you see how I did them not all in the center? I did that on purpose. My theory being that uh, if you put all the nails on the same grain, not that grain is perfectly straight, but if you do that, you're more likely to split the whole piece of wood down that grain, and then it's useless. It just got split apart. So I nail them in in different spots so that the whole piece of wood can really deal with the stress of it. I don't know, that's my theory. My dad says, do you want straight boards? Because if you do, we gotta bring the chop saw. Not the circle saw. <laughs> it's jigsaw time. I think I'll cut some more off right there. Give it room to grow. The jigsaw is the wrong tool to fix that. That is not going to work. Introducing the heavy duty Milwaukee Sawzall. Ah, uh, there we go. I just sawzalled all around the tree. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Yeah, because it was growing, like I thought, mm -hmm. and I gave it enough room. I cannot take any more off here, because we're up against the joist now. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to put, if it keeps growing, I'll start cutting, cutting away the bark, and eventually I'll have to start off to add a metal plate to stop live wood from being up against dead wood. Wanna, wanna do something satisfying? <laughs> Not nailed in yet. Got to do that. You want to go in at an angle because the joist is right below. That's one down. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I see daylight out of this hole. Yep. That's not good. Uh, there's not a two by four under here. It just goes straight through. Those nails are not going in. They are in the wrong spot. Dang it, ah! Oh, so I can put another board on top of that board. But the problem is, I didn't hammer the nails in all the way on purpose. Oh no, so I should have been doing the nails from the other side. Oh! I mean, at least they can come out easy. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do any edge nails on that side or on this side until such time as I can properly reinforce underneath there. Sickens, waterproof the ends. This is actually quite fast and easy to do. <laughs> you know, once you have everything cut, it just, just goes right in. Yeah, get back in there. Get back in there. Yeah, you know you're not supposed to be out here. Look at all that garlic. Jesus. I was supposed to put this one here, and this one was supposed to Don't go worry, here. I have Beautiful, this is gorgeous. I know, it's Man, really nice. I'm gonna stand over there and take a picture of, of this. This is 
And what's going on here? We don't have enough wood to finish? Uh, correct. I need to make more. Yeah, oh, the well. Still there. What do you mean, the fluffy? The fluffy's still there. The fluffy. Beer. So we're gonna, first we can't do beer and real bread all at the same time. Well, we could. Every day on the farm, I try to make a berry bouquet for my fiance. She really likes them. Here's some pictures of all the berry bouquets I've made. My vacation has gone away, shun. My vacation has gone away, shun. It is October 2, 2023, and I'm gonna be here on the farm for two weeks, and I'm hoping to finish the treehouse once and for all. The interior, rather, that's what's not done. So I have a checklist of things. Yeah, this ladder has, I don't know, it's a little suspicious. My bird crap fix is still working. Will there be mold? No, it still looks pretty good. There's still birds getting in here. I keep saying it, I keep saying it. I gotta put stuff here to keep animals out. There's a fluffy. Hello. So I can I can use this stuff here? Yeah, how much are you planning to use? I don't know, maybe two feet worth? Yeah, hardly any, two, three feet at most. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. That's not cheap stuff. I am now filming you commencing your bird poop scrubbing. Let's just see if this works. I'll scrub this, wait for it to stop raining. Hey, that's not bad. Let's see how easily this comes off. Rinse it to find out. Scrub that stuff off of vehicles before. It's gross, but it comes off. Now just imagine this times 45 minutes. All right, I scrubbed a lot of green stuff off of the deck. It looks way better. Once this dries, it'll get another coat of sickens, I think. I can't nail it to any wood, but that doesn't matter. I just curved it and no bird could get through that. So that's what we're doing. When the sun comes streaming through the trees, I love you. I remember that December when we met. Okay, does anyone recognize that tune? Because I searched for it, and I searched for the lyrics, and I couldn't find anything. I heard it in a dream, and I don't know if my subconscious made it up, or if it's just getting it from somewhere, right? Uh, this happens to me a lot. My animation, Fire and Ice, the music for that, I heard in a dream. Uh, all the other little tunes you hear me singing through this video, I got those in a dream. But, like, I'm not a music guy. I don't want to get into it. I didn't like taking piano classes. It didn't help that my teacher was horrible. If you make music, could you please give me some advice? Thank you. As bad as my porch was, it's nothing like this. <laughs> This gate has been here for maybe eight years. This is with no paint or sickens. It is so wet on Vancouver Island. Whatever this green stuff is, it, it doesn't even need to be growing to just kind of coat everything. This is pure aluminum. Here's a little invention. I still need to prevent birds from getting in through this hole right here. Take my invention, shove it up in there, spikes in, and then staple it. Those birds and raccoons are not getting in here anymore. You know, when all you've got is a nail, all your problems look like fur needles. 
not enough of these left. No, they're almost gone. Come out, come out here. Notice how this door can keep going. That's bad for the hinges. I need some trim to go right here just to stop it. Oh, that's all? Yeah, and then I want something for this window. <laughs> we got stuff. Let's go look right now in that workshop. <laughs> pull the pieces out. So some important context is missing here. My father built this entire house himself and designed it. Well, an architect friend helped him design it and I helped him frame it over a summer, but like, he's all impressed with my tree house, but he made this. You know, I gotta tell you, as fun, as lovely as this is back here, I can't, the only way they can get up here is they need supervision. Yes. They're too little. Mm-hmm. And that means you gotta hang out. And then here's the problem, once they're up there, they don't stay long. They don't seem to know how to play in a treehouse. Well, that's because it's all up there. That's why I'm making it nicer. Uh, okay. No, there's nothing to do. There's just a chair and a bunch there of dirt. There isn't anything to do. So yeah. this is easier for them because they don't have to worry about them falling. Y yes. I, it's, it's now much cleaner once I get everything out. I'm gonna put chairs and maybe some Duplo up there, although Duplos, yeah. they're, they're too old for that maybe now, by now. Maybe. Just stuff where it doesn't matter if it gets wet. Oh my gosh. Hey, little guy. Drink up. No? Well, its mouth isn't open. Anymore. I know chickens can drink this way. Hehehe. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think that's good. Oh, oh. All right, all right, all right. Its claws are so tiny. Wow. Wow. I want to take you home. I'll show my wife. Oh, it's gone. Hey. <laughs> that's great. Oh, there you are. All right, you gotta watch out for cats, buddy. There's cats around here. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. Into the blackberry bush. All right. Just doing the test fit and doesn't want to move. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I want to paint this up with Sickens first. Give me 20 minutes, I want to do this in the porch. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. I'm all set, ready yeah. to go. Well, I'm all set too, I just set up. Hello. All right, I got these all cut to length. Those two still need sickens, and all of them, except for that one, need to be jigsawed to make them fit around the tree. I have cleaned this floor so many times. That's beautiful. Yeah, that sounds pretty solid. Hey, I did it! That's great! Hey, look at that!
that. Thank you for painting my trim. You're welcome. Stops right there. We didn't even cut this piece, it was just the correct size. The tree house is done. Mm. Oh, stay here, stay here. Staying here. Am I following you in oh, here? Stay there. I'm going back. Ah, ooh, ah! Trim, trim. I want everyone to appreciate how great it is to have a door that can actually slam. Mm. <laughs> it didn't slam before. I don't even have to use the, look, look, I'm not even on the doorknob. <laughs> Feels kind of anticlimactic, like we're just, <laughs> we're just done. Oh, like last time we had, we already had our beers. Soggy day today. I want to put a little table right there. It would be nice to have some grab bars right here. Those are pretty cheap to find, just to help you get up out. And I might put a sort of a step, a wooden step down here for the kids as well. Some of them are terrified to go down the ladder. Yeah, the treehouse interior is now done. It's just not furnished. Can we plant those Douglas firs in here before you, we, I go? Well, where do you want them? Just along the path. Somewhere where you are, because remember, there were trees there and they died. Oh, sh I broke the shovel. Glad you wanted to have a spot for those. It's so cute. It's incredible to think just how tall these trees can get. It's tiny and it turns into that. <laughs> We're bringing the forest back. The floor is gorgeous. Well, thank you. Yeah, you might sure like this place for my beer. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't even think about windowsills. Well, you know, we're thinking, you're thinking of other stuff.